Hey guys, welcome back to more farming, this time with Wallfly, Intel, and Benson. Uh, it's a Wallfly game, so we have G7, Math Professor, um, very interesting. Uh, so prime numbers would be 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and maybe 13. You should be able to reach 13, so... Getting cards pretty easily. Five wood, five food. That seems very good. Vegan builder. That card seems fine. I like oven admirer. Mo Monster tamer. Um, that seems extremely strong. It just gives you four stables. Um, animal holder is obviously good. There's a day labor combo here. If we were to take Cattle Rancher and try to wheel Kakat, that could be strong. Um, if this was a normal game, I would take Cattle Rancher here and try to wheel Kakat, but given that there's G7 cards, he should probably be taking G7 cards. I think Math Professor and Monster Tamer are both perfectly fine. Would we rather have... Um, the, the main problem with Math Professor is you have to play it in round one. If you don't get to play it in round one, you lose out on a wood and a food, which is brutal. Um, it's still, like, absurdly easy. It's basically guaranteed five wood, five food over the course of the game, which is extremely powerful, and three of that wooden food comes in stage one. So I think I have to pick it. Monster Tamer seems excellent. I do like Oven Admirer a lot, but yeah, the, this card just seems really, really crazy. Um, honestly, it's probably pretty easy to get to 17 Ox in a G7 game like this, where it's draft 10 with a power filter, the way Wallfly sets it up. Um, lots of people play lots of Ox, so yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Let's see, yeah, it's 13, 17, 19. Yeah, that's card. So, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13 is 5, then 17, 19. So, yeah, I think it's pretty easy to get 7 wooden food with this card, which is just completely dumb. Um. Well, this card seems crazy. Vendor. No more than three cards in hand receives three bonus points, so that's going to be awesome for Math Professor. Lone Soil Scientist is crazy. Store Owner is... Yeah, Store Owner seems pretty, pretty nuts. I guess it's not that crazy, but this card can very easily give you, like, four points. Um, which is obviously a good deal. Yeah, keeping in mind Fender is going to be very important. We're going to want to spam out Ox. I think we have to take Lone Soil Scientist. Uh, Lone Soil Scientist is just a crazy card. You just have to be the first person in a stone house, and it's two fields and two veggies. Really dumb card. So, yeah, we, we just have to make sure we get to stone first. But store owner seems great, and, yeah, keeping in mind vendor is going to be super important. Circus promoter. No, thank you. Rent Keeper is great. I think it's the pick. Um, it's a bit tricky with Lone Soil Scientist, but, I mean, ideally with Rent Keeper going to stone early-ish is great, so you can get two building resources per, per, um, per turn. Obviously it's difficult, but with the power of the cards in this draft, I don't think it's impossible. Um, yeah. Um, gotta look at the G7 cards every time. Return an animal to play an Auk. That seems pretty good. Zoophilist. Um... 
So once per wow, once per kind each round. That seems crazy. Yeah, both farm educator and zoophilist seem great. Prudent merchant is very strong though, especially with um, rent keeper. There's a chance, obviously, if we open something like mansion, mansion prudent merchant is very strong. Um, Miller isn't terrible as a way to get, what's it called? To get a fireplace, and since we want to be playing all of our ox with that other card, that's strong. Um, I think I'm going to go for the Prudent Merchant here. It's just a very safe pick. It's good with um, Rent Keeper, because Rent Keeper can give us stone. Then we can like buy the well, get the resources back, and then use the stone to rent out a stone for Lone Soil Scientist, maybe. Something like that. Um, yeah, Zoophilist seems very strong. I can just give you a crazy amount of points. If we, like, this card with something like Stockbroker is, like, completely nutty. Yeah. We, we just aren't set up for it. With Rent Keeper, there's not really a way to fence early. Um, we could fence in mid-game and go for a bunch of points, but that's gonna be difficult. Um, and yeah, I, I don't think we have a farm educator game. I'm just going to go with the prudent merchant. As much as I hate passing G7 cards. Yeah, with, with the card that specifies you want to play all of your Oxan miners, um, taking things that we know we're going to be able to play is nice. I mean, the same argument could be made for the the card that lets you return animals to play Ox, but I just don't see how we get that up quick enough. We need to play Math Professor and Rent Keeper super early. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that that's mainly it. Yeah, we very much want to play Math Professor the first turn. We have to take a Miner that we can play on turn one if we don't get the Math Professor out, because playing it out before um playing it out third is super important uh wow somebody took kakat not cattle rancher and is going to try to whale cattle rancher i imagine vegan builder is interesting with red keeper because with red keeper you do end up building a lot of rooms and i mean this card seems strong i do really like oven admire i like trailblazer um This card's not worded great. It, it should say, like, in, in the same action or on this space, something like that. Just because, um, yeah, th this templating isn't really... Or, at the very least, it should say, at in yeah, like, in the same action or something. Um... Yeah, I think with Rent Keeper... Well, it's going to be hard to get Vegan Builder up with Rent Keeper. Um, maybe we won't use it on our first build. Maybe we'll just use it, like, twice. But this card seems very strong, so I'm going to take it. Um, well, Thatcher's great. Oh, wow, Vendor came back. Um, hmm... Thatcher's not actually that good with Rent Keeper, because Rent Keeper gives you a lot of read. Um... Like, that's one of the main things you want to take with Rent Keeper, either Reed or Stone. Thatcher has the advantage of we do just want to build a lot of rooms, so, like, Thatcher's good for that. But this four wood card seems pretty good. Making sure it gets played means Math Professor should trigger a lot more. Um, let's see, past 19, 23, and 27. So if everybody plays all seven of their Ox we could trigger this like nine times. Which is just completely absurd. Um, yeah, I think we want four wood cards. A as nice as Thatcher is. Especially since we want to build stables. Um, one second. 
Hi, Sid. Um, I, I don't know what you mean. You were chatting on an old video, but whatever. Um, so these cards... Oh, yes. Uh, so, math professor just seems completely crazy. Just not com remotely reasonable. Um, if you just, like, do the math on how many times this triggers, it, it's really dumb. Oh, I see, Sid. Um, Lone Soil Scientist, you know. Vegan Builder is this. And then Vendor is this. None of these cards are great for us. It's possible we could trigger Powerhouse with Rent Keeper, but it's going to be difficult. Um, it's, it's probably the pick here, just because none of these others are great. I'm not a fan of Woodworker. Like, we do want a lot of wood, but I just don't find Woodworker to be particularly good. And Powerhouse is pretty playable. Um... Well, this is like gotta be landing net, I guess. Um, yeah, it's like super easy to get seven wood, seven food, and it can be more than that, especially with us playing vendor. Baby sling is obviously great, but um, I mean, landing net's just so good. Yeah, I mean, Baby Sling, we have Rent Keeper, so we don't, like, especially need to accelerate or grows out or anything. Like, it's three actions, but Landing Net is just so much food. Um, especially with Powerhouse, we'd like to be able to take rent, uh, Stone with Rent Keeper if possible. So, yeah, I think I'm going to take Landing Net. Um, podium... Um, well, obviously this card is crazy when we played Vendor and want to play all seven Ox. Uh, yeah, easy, easy pick. Scrapyard Plow is good, and Stone Exchange with Powerhouse is good, but, um, sure thing, Mitty. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just crazy, especially in the kind of games that Wallfly builds where... You're drafting 10 G7 cards around the draft, and there's a power filter. It's just everybody spams Ox, and, um, yeah. Yeah, with both Vendor and Math Professor, Podium is obviously crazy for us. Easy pick. Um, well, Cured Meat is good. Sickles, fine, if you can trigger it. Cookies is good. Um, Sickle is maybe able to be triggered since we have Lone Soil Scientist. But, yes, it, so I, I was going to mention that later, but Landing Net kind of anti-combos with math, pro math Professor in that they're both things you want to play round one, but it's kind of hedging our bets. Obviously, if we get Math Professor out round one, we're just automatically in crazy shape. Um, and if we don't get Math Professor out in round one, hopefully that means we're getting Reedstone food. Um, so if we can go like Reedstone food, start player landing net into Math Professor. Um, if we, uh, not one MIDI, but it's two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen. I think it's more likely we eat boars than we um, than we bake, and I don't think we're gonna. It's gonna be hard to get sickle. Um, yeah, we can get the veggies with lone soil scientist, but we'd have to take grain three times and plow three times. Oh, I forgot we we have vegan builder, of course. No, I'm taking sickle. Well, easy half timbered house. Um, like I said, I, like I've said before, I like um, 
upholstery. Goblet is somewhat interesting with Prudent Merchant. But Half Timbered House is also good with Prudent Merchant. It's not quite mansion good, but it's still a good thing to play with Prudent Merchant. And yeah, we want a big stone house. Sad that we can't take up Hole 3 too, because I love that card, but e easy Half Timbered House. Um, yeah. Um, probably Harrow with Sickle. Getting an extra way to plow is nice. Yeah, I mean, we have a very straightforward plan this game of just building a bunch of rooms with Vegan Builder, um, Rent Keeper, Lone, uh, and then get to stone quickly-ish with Lone Soil Scientist. We don't have to rush stone, we just have to be the first person in it. And we didn't see any other stone cards. We didn't see anything like, um, what's it called? I don't know, Scholar or anything like that. Also, we saw multiple, mul we, we saw a lot of cards that care about majors. We saw Kakat, which got taken. We saw, um, oh wow, somebody, I, for I didn't think about it, but somebody could have taken Cattle Rancher and the card that lets you exchange a cow at the start of a round for two ox. That's a pretty crazy combo. Yeah, whoever got that combo is in great shape. I didn't even think about that. Crazy G7 cards are crazy. Um, we'll take an, I'm gonna go get a glass of water. Um, so, because Math Professor is going to give us a ton of wood, um, there, there's probably the... We're probably going to want to build, like, at least two rooms in wood with Rent Keeper. Um, yeah, we can also get four wood from Vendor. Uh, obviously, if we get, like, a six clay grab easily, we'll just take that and go to clay, but... Um, yeah, I, I, I'll lean towards building the first couple wood, rooms in wood. Oh, acid. That game sounds pretty wild. Um, this pack... I think, or this pick, excuse me, I think is Stone Exchange with Powerhouse. Um, I do like Holiday Present a lot as a card, but yeah, being able to trigger Powerhouse will be super nice. Oh yeah, yeah you're right, Sid. it also gets us to uh, Stone Reno easily. Um, we could consider building a Stone Room, maybe. Because Rent Keeper will give us like two resources every turn if we like go to stone with one stone room unbuilt like so we'll probably build two rooms before going to stone for sure but then if we go to stone we might just wait and then build a room in stone i don't know we'll have to see um wow cured me came back uh sure i don't want hired helpers and i don't want chameleon That's crazy that I came back. Somebody took the Lone Soil Scientist pack had a crazy boar card that was like whenever you boar, breed boar, um, you get a stable before the boar, newborn gets put on your farm. So it, it's just like you have to take two boar 
and then you get four stables, and then, like, I don't, don't know why you would take that card and not take Cured Meat. Um... What do you mean, Sid? Cured Meat is... I, I mean, you're paying for food for four points. It doesn't give you any f food. Or do you just mean, like, take two boar, convert them into food, and get two points with them? Um, I definitely want Ock round one, yeah. Midi. Um, my second action, I don't really care two wood versus two clay. Obviously two wood is slightly better, but two clay is fine. I just want a resource grab. If I don't get two wood or two clay, I might consider taking one reed to set up for start player landing net in round two. Yeah, I think I'll do that if I don't get, um, what's it called? Whatever I just said. If I don't get two wood or two clay. Oh, I see what you mean, Sid. Yeah. Yeah, if you can get two, four boars... Um, I mean, you don't convert your last boar, but... Okay, hopefully we get an Auk here. We're not going last, though, so at the very least we'll get Reedstone food. Okay, we're getting an Auk. Awesome. Employment Agency from Benson. Oh, yeah, this card is great. Um, it's similar to... Uh, what's it called? I am blanking. The the Auk that puts five building resources on your farm. But, yeah, this card's very strong. Especially if you have something that wants you to plow early or fence early. Um, it's similar to a, what's it called, evening prayer. Obviously, we play Math Professor here. Um, I mean, it's very different from Historian. I think it is probably stronger than Historian, but it, it's completely different. Benson will plow here, so we get to decide between take. Oh, why did Benson not plow there? I guess we're taking two read or one read now. Um, I will play my four wood awk here, and then start player landing net and go. Two read, um. Well, yeah, like I said, I agree that it's probably stronger than Historian, but the cards are just so different. This is a card you can play in round one. Historian, you have to wait and play in, like, round four or five. Um, oh, well, Waffle Eye plays Poker Player, of course. 
wouldn't be Wallfly without Poker Player. Um, yeah, I will play Vendor here if it comes, yeah. Um, yeah. L like I said, Sid, just the, the setup that Wallfly likes to play where you're playing with G7 and uh, high-powered cards from draft 10 and what's it called? Um, a power filter. It, it's just going to make Ox super spammed and Vendor isn't going to help with that. Vendor makes it crazy. Um, what? How did this happen? <laughs> I'm very confused. I've never seen that bug before. Uh, Professor's good at least, Sid. It's pretty non-specific, but it's a um, it, it, it's a fine card and a fun card to play. Yeah, wh what's going on with Wallfly's farm? <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> what? Uh, Well, it looks like Intel's taking start player. That's unfortunate. Um, I think I'm just gonna major minor the landing net here then. Um, yeah, I really hope we won't have to quit the game. That'd be awful. Yeah, this is a very weird bug. I've never seen this before. But if Wallfly still has her cards in hand, uh, it should be able to be just fixed manually.
Yeah, I've never seen this happen before either, Sid. Oh, Benson plays a fireplace. Wow, so... Um... Hmm. I don't want to take one read again. I could take two wood or two clay, but that doesn't do a lot. Um, if I take one read, I can go, uh, what's it called? I can play Vegan Builder, then build, and then play Rent Keeper in round four. I think that's what I should do. Taking two read, or taking one read twice just sucks. Um, yeah, taking one read twice is just so brutal. Whatever, this does mean we get to build our room one round earlier. Um, I actually have to decide. So I could just play Rent Keeper and then build instead of playing Vegan Builder and building. Um, I think playing Vegan Builder is probably worth it. Um, but yeah, I mean, playing Rent Keeper... Like, I think I'd rather get the grain veggie than the extra building resource and food. But the upside is if I play Rent Keeper first, it accelerates my next room a little bit more. Um, and I don't really need all four grain and veggie. Because um, I'm getting two veggie probably from Lone Soil Scientist. And then... Um, What's it, what's it called? Um, I lost my trade of thought, paying attention to chat. Um, ho hopefully Wallfly gets this fixed. But, um, yeah, I, I mean, the argument is I don't necessarily need all this grain and veggies, but it is very strong for f feeding. Um, like, landing net and possibly powerhouse should be able to cover a good amount of food. But, um, okay, there we go. Looks like Wallfly fixed it. Yeah, they should be able to cover a good amount of food, but um, we'll have to see. The accelerating my next room with Rent Keeper just is so nice. Um, well, so the thing is, I'm triggering Sickle no matter what. Um, so it, like, the extra grain I could bake, um, if I wanted to, but three grain is al definitely already enough to trigger Sickle. Um, but yeah, it, it's definitely only one round of Rent Keeper that I'm losing out on. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, because I, I can almost... I, I think I can always play Rant Keeper in round four. 
Um, playing Rent Keeper in round three also allows me to play Landing Net. Um, on star player in round four because I can take a read I can take read food with rent keeper and then I can go like star player landing net and maybe get like three read in round five um but yeah I don't know Um, yeah, I, I'm leaning towards playing the Rent Keeper first. Hopefully Benson doesn't play an Ock here. I don't think Benson will. He'll probably take Reedstone Food or Three Wood. Yeah. Um, yeah, we will play Rent Keeper. Um, also, not building the stables gets me closer to my next room. Um, so, um, yeah, so, like, if I have to invest the full seven wood into building my room and stable, it's going to take longer to build another room. Yeah, that's what I was saying, Mitty. Math Professor is just so crazy. Um, yeah, the fact that its biggest triggers are in stage one, where wood and food are most valuable, is just completely insane. Like, a card that said, when you play this, you get three wood, three food, that that card would be very strong. Because, um, yeah, it just... it Being able to get those resources in stage one is so important. Um and obviously Math Professor is way, way, way better than that because Math Professor can get you like nine wood, nine food over the course of the game. Yeah, yes, it, it just seems completely broken. Um, we build a room. Um, so I think I just take wood here and then start player landing net. Um, I could also just start player landing net and hopefully take two read, but I should be able to get three read. There's a good chance I get three read next turn because I don't think Wallfly is going to take two read. She might, but probably not. Wallfly with food con. Oh, Wallfly is going to do day labor things. So Wallfly will play Kakat or Cattle, Cattle, whatever. Um,. Um, yeah, so it, uh, well, it, it's probably somewhat equal to Cherokee if you miss the first two, um, 
Because, like, sometimes Charcoal Burner will give you, um, like, six-ish triggers if there's, like, a simple fireplace or a cooking hearth miner in the game, something like that. Any oven miners. Um, like, Charcoal Burner can be really crazy, too. But, yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, so here... I think I'm just going to start player landing net and hope to wield two read. Um, yeah, it seems fine. If I don't wield two read, I'll just take four clay. Um, well, my next room, I, I thought about that, uh, Sid, but my next room, I want to build a stable with anyways, so it doesn't do much, plus, yeah, uh, Benson can build in front of me, and Intel, so unless I'm start player, I'm not gonna have the chance to build a room anyways, so I, I like doing this, um, yeah, obviously Wallfly plays Kakat, um, It's, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, yeah. Intel took more read. Uh, for clay, I guess. Yeah. Hmm. No, I think I take this clay. I, I'd like to get six clay next round if I can. Wolfline needs food here, so she can't take four clay, so we're definitely getting six clay. Um, what did she do? Baby slang, sure. Um, uh, feed four, read food. and begged for. It's obviously an alms house, but whatever. I'm not gonna spam star player, I don't think. Um, so, I'd like to start taking Reedstone food for um, to build up towards Powerhouse and Prudent Merchanting, The Well, both of those are interesting to me. I mean, Prudent Merchanting, Half Timbered House is fine as well, but, um, yeah, I mean, I'll just have to see. Interesting, Intel didn't build. Benson can play three ox here if Benson wants. Yeah, a Parking Star player with, uh, Rent Keeper is so bad.
Um, yeah, I mean, I'll have to figure out when I want a Prudent Merchant after Brute House. Once I get Podium up, um, I can just play my Ox whenever. But yeah, I think I want to start taking Reedstone Food to build port towards Powerhouse. Yeah, I mean, Half-Timbered House with Prudent Merchant is fine, but it's nothing compared to Mansion. Um, interesting. Benson didn't build any stables. Yeah, I'll take Reese on food. If Benson wants to take Start Player, that's fine by me. Um, yeah, I mean, when you're playing Pasteurization Expert and have Fireplace, I'm not sure why you wouldn't build two stables here. It lets you hold a breeding pair of sheep. Um, yeah, I, I think maybe Benson has a miner that costs wood, would be my guess. Yep, Waffle Eye plays Cattle Rancher, no surprise there. We saw all of this coming. The Wallfly doesn't need more clay since she didn't get um, the two clay fireplace. So me taking all of her clay definitely hurt her. Hopefully Intel doesn't take star player here. That'd be a, the biggest bummer because then Benton doesn't even have to take it. Okay, yeah, Intel takes three wood, that's fine. I guess Intel... No, Intel couldn't have star player for six wood, because Benson could have just taken the three wood. Yeah, Benson star players to jump us, that's fine. We obviously want Family Yard to flip in seven, since we have um, Rent Keeper. I want to see what flips before I decide what to take. I'm probably taking stone food, but again, I want to wait and see. I th I th yeah, I'm going to take stone here, because then I can go read stone food and play Prudent Merchant, and then in round seven I can, um, I can run a well. But yeah, we definitely want, um, okay, this is awesome for us. Yep, yeah, Benson plays the Alms House, no surprise there. We will go Reedstone Food Food. Um, there are four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Ox in place, so two more before, oh, annoying. Yeah, this is awesome. So we play Prudent Merchant. Then next round, we um, start player, podium. We play, we reno, um, we, we reno well. And then we can play probably Powerhouse. Then in round eight, we can Family Grow, Stone Exchange. Or no, yeah, Family Grow, Stone Exchange. Um, play Vegan Builder and build another room. Oh, wow, Wallfly. Yeah, Wallfly does have this card. Not good, but it, I mean, it's fine. It, it means she's going to get to exchange a cow for the last two ox trigger poker player in round six. So it's going to be nine points.
yeah, I was expecting this to come out second. Um, well, this or the Cattle Rancher to come out second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Intel is going to try to triple build next round. Sure, whatever. Yeah, I'm just going to prudent merchant the well. Um, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um, well, yeah, th this is one more resource saved, but I think the stone is more valuable than like two resources. Like, I think a stone is m maybe more valuable than like clay reed, um, because getting to stone early with lone soil scientist is pretty important. Yeah, we'll fly. Um, oh, I didn't even notice the timetable was what played Alms House. That's nice. Obviously, we'll fly is day laboring here. We will get another wood food next round. Um, um if Intel doesn't build here, I can just take six wood. And Intel's not going to build because Intel wants to triple build next round. Um, it's possible Intel will take the three wood here, but yeah, I mean, me getting six wood would be incredible. It's also awesome for the, us that Wallfly is playing Kakat because that means she has no interest in taking star player. Okay, Intel hates the wood, that's fine. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna start player podium first action. Um, here we take read food. Oh no. Um, whatever this is fine I'm gonna play stone exchange for more resources um, take read food okay wall fly doing more day labor stuff I don't think this works with food connoisseur yeah but it's a little bit more food Intel has a crazy amount of wood. Yeah, Intel's definitely going for three wood rooms. Benson will family grow. Benson, Iron Plow, sure. I already took the 11 Ock wood food, but this is now 13 Ox. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Also looks like Intel's doing some kind of alms game, but I don't remember seeing an alms card, which is interesting. Wolf 
Wallfly plays Reedstone food, sure. So Wallfly is slowly getting closer to building a room, but she's still very far away. Um, hopefully she doesn't run out here. That'd be a bit annoying. It's not the end of the world, because then we can take four clay or three clay and build two rooms. But yeah, I mean, it's not great. Benton will probably take four wood here, I guess. Also, Benton played a very, very early broom. I saw Montu play an early broom in a game earlier today, and it was the craziest broom I've ever seen. Let me read exactly how this works. Um... Man, this card is so crazy. Um, yeah, we play Powerhouse. Um, I'm fine not building two rooms here. I'm fine taking more clay and building another room because with Vegan Builder, I want to b trigger it multiple times anyways. It also cuts Wallfly out from jumping in. Intel should build rooms here. Otherwise I can take six wood next round. before family growing. There, there's a tiny chance I wheel six wood, but... Yeah, I mean, this was what happens when people don't value wood. Wow, only two rooms. That's extremely surprising. Um, I wonder if Wolf, or Intel has some kind of... Somebody has animal cards. Um, there were some crazy animal cards in this draft. There was the one that you can return animals each round for points. I think with pasteurization, Benson's the most likely to have that. Um, but... Oh yeah, um, that's true. If Intel doesn't build here, I could just build another room next round. Um, do I want to build another wood room? No, building clay rooms is fine. I want to use wood for stables anyways. Um, yeah, I guess this does let him reno. Hopefully this doesn't mean he's going for like a quick stone reno. Although we can get to stone extremely early. Um, here we're gonna play stone exchange, I think. On family grow. Um, yeah, it takes us to powerhouse. Um, did I take my powerhouse food? I don't remember. No, I just added read food.
Um, Wallfly will probably take wood here, considering it lets her build a room. Um, she'll get to build in front of me since I have to play vegan builder before building, but it's not the end of the world. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm fine losing out on Vegan Builder. Uh, I should have played Vegan Builder last round, now that I think of it. I didn't foresee this. So, if I played Vegan Builder instead of Powerhouse last round, I would have lost one food, but I would be able to build in front of Wallfly here. Which was obviously pretty great. Um, I'm still gonna go for it. Um, Um, I imagine Wallfly will build here. But she might day labor. Um... Well, what do you mean, Sid? I played I, I played Powerhouse last round anyways. Like I already played the Auk. So, um I only lose out on the one food from Powerhouse triggering this round. Um no, not, not vegan build last round. I just mean I play vegan instead of powerhouse last round so that this round I can build in front of Wallfly. Oh, I see what you mean. I, I can't build and play powerhouse. Yeah, you're, you're right. I, I forgot about how this card worked. Um, yeah, that's fine. Um, I will probably take stone here, I think. Wow, Intel didn't take start player. Intel's just letting Wallfly jump him. Um, I think I just want raw resources because I want to end up building a stone room, Sid. Uh, I really do not know if I need the food. I'm getting three food next round. I'm not playing Lone Silo Scientist for a while. Um, and I can possibly get like three read in the future. Yeah, I'm just going to take the stone. Oh, I'm not worried about Benson building. Wow, Benson played Market Crier. Oh, here, here's the boar card. Yeah, I, I don't know how you take this card and don't take Cured Meats. Very, very confusing. Um, Midi, Lone Soil Scientist gives you two fields, because it's crazy. Um, yeah, it gives you two fields and two vegetables, and then I have Harrow for two more fields. So I only need to plow twice. I'll double plow once with Harrow. I'll plow one more time. 
uh, and then I can play Lone Soil Scientist for two more fields, and that gets me the five fields for Sickle. Um, here, Intel might... Um, Intel could build a room here first to action to lock me out, so I think I'm just gonna build. Um, I want the grain veggie anyways. Oh, I don't trigger rent keeper. Um, Um, no, you have to play Lone Soil Scientist in stone, Sid. If you play it in clay, you only get one field with three stacked grain. So I, I have to wait until I'm in stone to play Lone Soil. Um, next action, I'm taking five clay if it comes back. And then uh, four wood would be nice. Oh, baby sling, of course. That That's why Intel didn't take start player. So Intel might start player here. No, Intel has to grow here. What am I talking about? Oh, here we go. This is what Intel was doing. Um, I'm interested to see if Intel's going to leave themselves enough room to build another room. No, they will not. Yeah, so we'll take five clay here and then probably three read. Um, next round, we will, what's it called? Well, we'll probably grow depending on what, uh, on what Intel does. If Intel takes start player here, we're going to let them. We want to trigger a rent keeper next round anyways. Benson might take clay here. Four clay is fine. We can just rent keeper the fifth clay. No, we got it. Oh yeah, Benson takes sheep, sure. Yeah, next action we'll take three st read if it comes back. If three read doesn't come back, we could take four wood probably. Um, we need more wood for stables and fences. No, okay. Uh, four clay is also an option. It allows us to build a fireplace that we could then upgrade to a cooking hearth at some point. Or we could just take another clay and upgrade to a cooking hearth that way. Okay, cool. Intel's not taking start player, so we get to grow next round. Um, yeah, next round we want to grow, we want to build, and we want to... Um, renovate uh yeah we will take three read Oh, I guess well, if I could take start player next round. Um, I think I take wood here. So what do I need to build a stone room? I only need two stone, which I can just take once I'm in stone. Oh, I, I missed, uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Um, I'll be able to figure it out, Mitty. I, I'm going to have a lot of extra grain and veggies. Um, 
Um, yeah, we will play Harrow here. Take this. Um, I can build BMW at some point. I'm not going to be in a hurry to do it. Um, nobody can build right now, so we're safe to build next action. Yeah, then Reno. If Reno comes back, which it should. Wallfly will take six clay here so that she can buy a cooking hearth. Oh, I didn't even realize. Um, we get food, food. Yeah, I took land. I, I took the landing that food said. Intel takes two boars, no surprise there. Benson takes six clay, no surprise there. We will build a room, make sure nobody blocks us, like Wallfly block, doesn't block us by building stables or something, because it's super important. Also, we want to run a last action, so. Yeah, I'm building a sixth room in stone, Mitty. Nobody can reno right now, so our renovation is safe. Six, thirteen, seventeen, eighteen. No, job secret doesn't count as an occupation. Disaster. Our game's train wrecked. We can't win. We're still at. Oh wait. Never mind. I take it back. Job seeker is even br more broken than I thought with Matt Professor. It's better than just playing knock normally. That's hilarious. I take it all back. We can win. Confirmed. Um... What do I play on my reno? Probably just Sickle. I don't really want to play a major right now. I want to set up to build another room to keep triggering Rent Keeper in case Intel doesn't start player. Um, no, I don't think Imported Timber was that worth it. I mean, Job Seeker is a good card to play with Noak cards. Um, but yeah, I, I would have gone for it earlier.
Okay, Wallfly plays. Well, this is a weak hammer, but sure. It looks like we're not getting to grow next round, which is fine. I think our game will survive. Uh, I think we'll first action forward next round. What is the main thing we... Well, no, if Plow comes to me, I'll first action Plow, but I have a feeling Plow's not going to come back. Oh, she is. She She's kick-cutting. You are correct. Yeah, Intel needs to start a player here if they want to grow next round. I, I mean, it will continue to grow because I can build a stone room. Nope, Intel fishes. It doesn't block Wallfly because Wallfly can only do one of these spaces. Oh, wow. Chamberlain from Benson. Well, that is a good one. Trailblazer, sure. Yeah, seven, six, six. Um, we family grow. I, I mean, nobody stands a chance this game, Sid. I, I, I've said that before and been wrong, but I don't see how anybody competes with our game. We're going to have a six-point half-timbered house. We have the well. Um, we're going to have full points for grain and veggies. Sickle is three points. We might be able to get... Um, like, I think our animals could be fine. Uh, our plows will be fine. Yeah, like, our plows and crops will be fine. Um... Benson might take wood here, but who knows? No, Benson takes... Oh, pasteurization expert cow, sure. We need to take four wood, because four wood is good. What do you mean it's 20 ox? No, job secret does not count as an oxid. That's why I took it again when it got played. Um, because Intel played it, and then... There were still 17 ox in play. What? One, two, three, four. This is seven. We have seven. Um. Oh, well, whatever. I didn't trigger it on uh, Chamberlain. I, I should have gotten wood food on Chamberlain, which I didn't take. Um. Yeah, I didn't take wood food on Chamberlain. Wait, no. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plus six is 12. Plus seven is 19. Yeah, what? Um, all the animals got swiped, which is annoying. We do want to start building majors. So, well, I'm definitely going to build my rooms and stables, I think. No, I'm not really worried about Intel blocking us. We do want to play Lone Soil Scientist this turn, but that'll come back. Yeah, I'm just going to take stone. to raise our point ceiling by like stone oven, guilds, whatever.
Um, Wolfly finally taking star player. That's a bit annoying. That might mean we don't get a plow next round. Although it's plow so, so we should. Benson probably will start player. And no, I don't know. Normally the Chamberlain start players in round 11 so they can get both Plowso and Family Grow, but they didn't. Um, I'm playing Lone Style here, Sid. Remember, I get to play it for free. So we get stone stone food plus food food. Um, yeah, it's already been nine wood food, and it will probably be more. Um, oh yeah, we also have three points from vendor. Um, yeah, so I think we take, well, we'll plow first action if it comes to us. Then after that, we take wood. Um, oh, we'll fly plowing more. Sure, whatever. Intel will pl plow. Um, scrapyard works on plow, so right? Yeah. That is number 20. Intel will plow here, I think. Maybe start player, but probably plow. Um. Well, I'm definitely hitting 10 wood. We're, we're going to get 23, I'm pretty sure. Because, I again, I played Vendor, so people are super encouraged to play Ox. So Benson will probably play more Ox. Um, Intel might not make it. We're probably not getting to 27, just because the Job Seeker doesn't have time. But I'd be shocked if we didn't get to 23. Um, well, we're either getting plow or six wood, which is nice. Um, looks like plow. Sure. Next round, we can start player half timbered house and plow so in 14. Yeah, I mean, that's the main thing about Math Professor. The fact that, the eight, like, three to four of the wood, um, well, yeah, three three of the wood comes in the first stage. And, well, three of the wood and food. Food is almost more important. But, yeah, that's just so crazy. Wallfly re-upping star player for Family Grow, it looks like. Um, okay, so Wallfly will build stone oven here. That is annoying, but it's not the end of the world. We will take three read here and build BMW. Unless Intel does, but no, Intel can't. Intel's going to be family growing here.
Benson, I don't think, can afford to take the reed either, so we'll, we'll take the wood first. Uh, no, actually, the reed's a higher priority than the wood, hilariously. I don't think anybody really wants the wood anymore. We could build another room here, but we need the fifth field. Yeah, Wolf Lab builds Stone Oven, no surprise there. Um, there's not a lot of pressure on animals. I should be able to get two boars next round. Everybody already has a breeding pair except Wallfly, and Wallfly has to family grow first action, so... I should be able to family grow first action next round. Well, no, I have to start player for half timbered house so yeah maybe you're right i don't know intel family growing with stone exchange interesting wait wallfly wallfly major minored stone oven Um, I don't need a cooking implement, I don't think, Sid. Um, I, I can just eat reed. Um, I'm getting food from Powerhouse. Oh, for cured meat, sure. Um, yeah, whatever. I, I was planning on taking a clay with rent keeper for half timbered house but yeah i suppose that i can't could t just take this clay um hmm. well i can't hold more boars so i think they wheel for forever yeah i think i'll wait We'll take one cow and, I mean, I want four clay anyways. Yeah, I guess I could take, I can just wait to take the clay though. Um, I'm gonna buy the BMW. Um, Um, here we play BMW. Um, that is seven, seven, five, three. So 15, 21. So we're two away. So we need Benson to play one more for food. Oh, Wallfly we'll Baby Slings, of course. So Intel will probably family grow. Um, yeah, I mean, we're definitely start playing here. I think we have to. Interesting. 
interesting who's Ken playing with. Oh, Herple Boar. Well, there goes the clay. Um, yeah, so the cooking implement's probably not happening. Maybe if Benson upgrades to a cooking hearth, but Benson's probably just buying joinery. We'll take two boar on the wheel if they come back. Um, it's honestly not super important since it's not looking like we're getting a, what's it called? It is not looking like we're getting a um, cooking implement. So the two boar is just three points, which is fine, but so it's two sheep. Oh, ball fly taking wood to fence, it looks like. Um, yeah, we'll have to watch out. If Wallfly doesn't fence this round, we might have to. Benson also theoretically can fence. Although Benson might just fence this round on Rhino Fence. We definitely need Plasto next round. Um, actually, I mean, we don't really need Plasto next round now that I think about it. Oh, until finally played the store owner, sure. Oh, there goes the fireplace. So yeah, cooking implement definitely not happening. Yeah, I could just plow and sow, but I mean, that's worse than just taking wooden fencing here. Um, I'd only get two more wood by waiting, which is only one more point. Um, so uh, that it's just not worth it. I will take two boar here. Benson takes two sheep. No, I'm definitely taking boar. Um, I'll also take one cow and then go three wood fence. Yeah, those will be my actions this round. Yeah, passive food is like very po powerful. Um, Powerhouse is a great card. Um, Powerhouse is a card that I think is super underrated. Oh yeah, Math Professor was also crazy, obviously. Yeah, hopefully Wallfly fences last action and Benson fences on Reno fence. That'd be ideal for us. Um, Intel takes more clay. Weird. I wonder if they're going to try to buy pottery. I mean, it would make sense, but that's a lot of actions for not a lot of points. Oh, I guess they could upgrade their cooking hearth, and then build the fireplace. Fleece factory. Three points for two wood, two stone. Whatever. Um, we will take three wood. We should be able to get two cows back. Or one cow back.
does wall fly fence here? No, build stables, okay. That's fine, that also doesn't matter. Oh, wall fly can't fence. I forgot she has two of her fences on the board, so she can fence, it's just way worse than building stables. Um, yeah, now we just have to hope that Benson Reno fences. Intel takes traveling players, sure, whatever. Benson. No, Benson took my cow. Um, what do we do? I guess we take reed stone food food. Four stone is two food. And can let us threaten like joinery or pottery. Um, yeah, I mean... I guess that's what we have to do. It, it's four stone or read stone food. Or one wood, but one wood seems pretty crappy. Let's just take read stone food. Um, no, I think it's 21 ox. Seven, seven, and eight. Yeah, that's 21. Unless I'm bad at math. No, it is 22. So we'll get one more wood food. Okay, awesome. Fence had fenced. So nobody can fence next round. Um, my peep disappeared. Weird. Um, so taking stone is two food. What am I taking next round? Well, I'm taking wood wood next round. Um, that takes me to nine. Then I can just take three wood. Um, yeah. So how am I doing on feeding? 10 food. I guess I just take traveling players, actually. That's way better. Did my board screw up? What did Intel take? Oh, shit. One, two, three, four. What is this three points from? Um, in that case, I guess I do take stone here. Um, so remove two food. We get one more food feed. We take um, wood wood. Um, here we take boar, uh, nobody can fence, so we first action plow, well, we first action plow, so obviously, yeah. Um, 
Oh, I forgot about the wood food. Um, that makes buying joinery extremely strong. Whatever, we have to Plowso. Plowso is a million points. If Major Minor comes back, we're buying joinery, though. Um, oh yeah, I'll sell one more grain. Yeah. Mothfly slings. Sure. Okay, Intel's blocking Major Minor. Makes sense. It's annoying, but it makes sense. I mean, I could take three stone here. But, no. I have better things to do. Taking a sheep is two points. Oh well. This card is very good. Um, yeah, we take a sheep here. It's the same amount of points as the wood, and it's more contested than the wood, since Intel doesn't have sheep. Intel wants to take three stone here, I think, but... Um, it's not worth messing around with. If I remembered the wood food, I should have taken um, reed food off of Rent Keeper. Taking two wood was dumb, but it shouldn't matter. Oh, uh, it's going to cost me one point. Whatever. Um. Yeah, no, I don't I don't think this card is broken. It's just a good card. Very good. It's probably better than Flat Hill because Renoing to Stone is like Renoing to Stone Light is a lot more powerful than Renoing to Clay Light. Um and it gives you a point. So like I think it's significantly better than Flat Hill and Flat Hill's playable, but um yeah, I, I, it's probably not broken. At least not compared to most G7 cards like Math Professor or whatever. Oh, Wolf Light. Why you gotta do that? Whatever. Guess we're fencing. So rude, Wallfly. How are you not taking a boar? What? Oh, she, she wants to buy joinery. But, I mean, that doesn't even get her, what's it called? Village daughter, or elder's daughter, so. Confused. Yeah, Intel does not get a major here. Oh, cooking hearth.
Yeah, nobody family grew last round for whatever reason. Um, so here we take two read and then our last action doesn't matter. Oh, one cow. Um. Well, I imagine Intel should actually take the cow here. I don't know why Intel wouldn't. Well, yes, yeah, that's what I mean. Um, I guess there was not a lot of reason for Wallfly to do it. Slinging this round saves her one food. Um, yeah, we take a cow. I guess a boar is also a point. Um, but we'd rather block Intel than block Wallfly. I think. I, I don't know. Play, play, Wallfly plays join arena surprise there, but, um, yeah, I don't know. Where's Wishit's dancing ground when we need it? I, I need more room for, um, points, or room for rooms. I could have easily built, like, eight rooms this game. Well, not easily, but I definitely could have built a seventh room. Um, I thought about that, Sid, but I, I was assuming I would get to four pastures. That That's why I didn't do it. Because, um, like, the fourth pasture and the fourth stable are... Um, that's two points for... four wood... Where's the room we're spending? Five stone to read for four points? No, three points, because I wasn't counting the used space. Um, so it's one more point for significantly more resources, and I didn't know that I would get these huge resource grabs. Like, four stone just floated for whatever reason, because Wallfly didn't have the resources to go to Clay. And Benson had returns, which I didn't know about. Um, it doesn't matter if we breed our animals. Fifty-eight plus six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, cool seventy. Very strong game, obviously. Ending with zero cards in hand, but yeah, I mean, uh, most of the games where I've gotten over 70 have been G7 games, which, I mean, obviously it's still a good score, but G7 cards are crazy. Um, Yeah. 
Well, if I have 55. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah. Um, let's we'll see. Fifty five, seventy. Yeah, I mean, you played Broom and only played like three minors after it. very confused. Okay, Benson just misread it. Um, I don't know what Intel score is. Um, it looks like 38 plus 6. Did Intel leave? Alright, well, yeah, we crushed this game. We had some very broken cards. Um, uh, yeah, so, just to go over it again, obviously this card is, like, completely unreal. Um, this card was, what, 9 wood, 9 food. Not remotely reasonable. Um, then... Um, oh, I, I missed this. Oh, whatever. Yeah, this card, um, I didn't really talk about a lot, but this card is completely broken. Um, this card is a wood and three food for three actions, like, which is just, like, completely unreal. And a point. Um, yeah, like, this card is just so, so crazy. Um. Like, the balance on adoptive parents is adoptive parents is very hard to get out before um, your first family grow. And adoptive parents is also an awk. This card is a minor, and it, uh, and it gives you a point for a wood. Which, yeah. Like, obviously you have to want to play all seven ox, but given that you play are going to play seven ox, this card is crazy. Yeah, obviously the podium would be way worse in draft seven, but yeah, I mean draft seven just doesn't happen on the site anymore. And then the other card was um, Lone Soil Scientist is crazy, and yes, yeah, you're right. I, I think Vegan Builder is is just way too strong. Well, not way too strong. The, I, I think this card is very good. I think it Wheeling was should not have happened.
Um, like, I think this is a close to first pickable card. Maybe not in G7 games, because there's probably G7 cards that are more broken than this, but this card is very good. And yeah, Lone Sci oh, Scientist, I think, is just the strongest card in G6. Um, is it even in G6 anymore? I haven't seen it in forever. Uh, oh yeah, sure, I'll, I'll check the drafts in. Um, so, let's see. Three 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 oh five five. Is this? I forget. Do you remember the um? What the extension is for this? Sid, I can never remember. Is it play? Is it just... Oh, there we go. You just have to capitalize Agricola. Um, 333055. Um... Okay, so Math Professor doesn't have a rating, but its rating has got to be completely absurd. Lone Soil Scientist is 5.4, obviously great. Yeah, Vendor is also great. Um, it's a four-wood card, so no surprise that it's good. But us getting that back was obviously amazing. Um, Rent Keeper, I think 2.8 is pretty low power for Rent Keeper, but... Um, yeah, um... Like, I think Rent Keeper is pretty underrated. Uh, Powerhouse is also super underrated. Powerhouse is great. Prudent Merchant is great. Um, yeah, this pack was great. Vegan Builder, only 2.1 power. That's surprising to me. Um, yeah, this pack is very strong. Uh, we passed Oven Admire, but yeah, Vegan Builder is very good yeah vegan builder i guess does take a lot of planning it does require you to want to build multiple rooms so it, it, i think i over exaggerated a little bit i don't think it's pr too strong probably but it is quite strong um yeah vendor and then miners okay podium's only 4.2 but again th this is super small sample size um yeah cured meat is 4.1 power i can't believe that came back um but yeah, like, it, this is very small sample size on the G7 cards, so I wouldn't trust it too much, but, yeah, we just had an extremely, extremely strong draft. Um, Alright, well, that's it for this one. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's a chance I'll play a game, like, super late tonight if something comes together, but you'll, you'll probably be asleep by then, right, Sid? Um... But, yeah, I mean, there there's, doesn't look like there's people looking for games right now anyways. So, that's all for this one. I will definitely be playing more later in this weekend, at the very least, tomorrow and Sunday. So, be on the lookout for that. And I will see you guys next time.